Well, I was uh, searching a, an art auction house that I've purchased from before, and I've bought uh, Ted Harrison's from the same place, which I collect because uh, he's my art teacher, actually, but he's one of the top artists uh, in Canada now. Um, and uh, I spotted this unusual piece in uh, art auction in Toronto. And uh, within minutes of spotting it, I knew what it was. I knew it was something very special and very old. And uh, I think the first phone call I made was, was Wayne, uh, my childhood friend. And, um, and growing up together, I knew how important this could be to him. Uh, Wayne recognized it immediately. And I don't even think he said 10 words and he said, we need to get that home. It was almost like, uh, you know, like it was an emer not an emergency, but a, he knew it. it was serious. I could tell by the tone of his voice. He's a pretty relaxed guy, but when he says, bang, I think the, I would love to see it fully restored. And I've already got a goat hide, a winter goat hide donated from a First Nation hunter up there, full of beautiful white wool um, that he harvested. So I would like it to see it fully restored so it can be danced each year. And uh, right now, it looks like it could be in a cabinet for the rest of his life. And that's not what these robes were about. They were a live object. They were meant to be swirled and danced and drummed and, and to be on people's shoulders. And that's my dream, is to see that robe danced. So I really think we should spend, I have no idea the cost, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to make it back and have it uh, some of the goat hair replaced and have it fully restored, which there's experts here in Vancouver that can do that. The cultural significance actually is like anything else that we make today and using regalia is to identify where you're from, identify who your family is. And so the blanket is, is a way of showing that, you know, the button blankets today that you see all over the West Coast usually have a, a crest uh, put in the back of it. And so you wear your house crest on your back. And that's pretty much what it means. If you think about where this, this um, Chilkat robe comes from um, and the time it was made, there was, before, before the gold rush, it's significant to the same thing as it was then, as it is now to First Nation people. It's identifying uh, who their family is, who their clan is, and what nation they come from. Pretty much identifies who they are. Every uh, blanket that they wear on their back tucks, and there's, they weave it right into there, and then they identify through the ceremonies and through the, you know, when they bring those blankets out, you have to dance it, right? They call it putting uh, the spirit into the whatever we're using. When they do that, they actually um, tell a story of what they're what they woven uh, and how it relates to that family. And so it's it's really specific about how and what they actually put onto those blankets so that they know what they're wearing and how they can be so proud about it when they're dancing their dance.